Imagine fleeing for your life from your country to a country that's strange and unfamiliar, away from house and familiar. It's been said you can't understand someone until you've walked a mile in their shoes. Walk in their shoes, or shoeless, barefoot, telling them to shoe. But wait, what are the bare necessities? What are they? Food, shelter, and Wi-Fi. I tell you, it's more like life, love, identity, security, purpose, acceptance. When you're stripped of all, it all makes sense. When they land on shores, only to be confined, judged by the country they're from, the size of the cartilage of their nose, their melanin, and what they wear on their head. Black, white, brown, from the Middle East, but stuck between a rock and a hard place. Will we be culprits of binding a millstone around their neck like a necklace? Headless is how they feel, roaming around Rome, clambering in Calais, persecution and famine, war and terror, smuggling and trafficking, cramming in tents and non-existent boat cabins, imagine. They search for open doors only to find closed ones. They search for new prospects only to find no one. Does the country you reside take in refugees or kick them out like refuse? Do you spare a thought but barely on refugee week? Shut up, get out of my country, go back to your own. You disgust me trying to be disguised like me. But you and your culture smells. Passport control, yet yeah, don't have a passport control. Border control, they're border control. Name seems foreign in a foreign land, identity issues. I thought that was a teen issue. Not when you see young girls drowned in the Mediterranean Sea. Surely you can't be serious. Half of the world's refugees are children. Let that sink in. Wrong choice of words. I mean, just think about that. That border control, doubt in their age. Young, about 16, but look mid-20s, with wrinkles, beard, and rugged skin. That's what 3,000 miles can do to a young face. Trace back far enough, you will find a family member who once was we're all refugees, fleeing from something, running away from death, from killing, only trying to make a killing, stuck in a dead end job, stuck in your own head, taking refuge in your comfort. You have no idea. Jesus was a refugee. What would the world look like if he wasn't taken in? But I don't think you understand what it's like to flee for your life. You heard what's going on in Syria. Are you serious? Gunfire overhead, shrapnel and lead pierced through their leg. Health is a mere fantasy. They just want to live life free of death, danger and deceit. Is this a UN thing or is it a you and me thing? God seems like the only refuge. No one cares for their soul. Let God be the shelter we dwell in. Refugee, refocus, reimagine and imagine. Arms wide open, doors flung wide, compassion and solicitude, given a second chance that I live in, exiled from a land, self-sustainable to excel in a new one. If you had to leave home forever, what would you take with you? Oh, one condition, you have to leave everything behind.